Well, it's been a little while since I've done this. Um, here we have a Redditch uh, Royal Enfield 350 bullet crank from uh, the late 50s or early 60s. And this is going to be the basis of ASBO number 45. Um, and we've also got 46 waiting at the door as well. Um, so it's quite busy around here. Um, so this is a before video, looking for and checking for run out just for my own reference really and uh, to try and ensure that I can get the uh, run out much less um, when I've put it all back together and I'm sure I will be able to do that with this one uh, because it's actually there's quite a lot of run out there and I've also finally got make some people happily happy and especially uh, Hugh thank you Hugh for sending me this Imperial gauge I've now got two Imperial gauges set up here uh, both reading in thousandths of an inch rather than uh, the one imperial and the one metric which seem to annoy some people uh, but anyway let's spin the crank and see what we've got you can see that both clocks are at zero there hopefully where we're starting from let's spin the crank and as you can see not only is there a fairly large amount of run out showing on those clock faces but it's going in opposite directions as well which is not very good at all and if we look on this one on the right we're looking at about three thousandths of an inch run out there and this one is clocking more like four thousandths of an inch but because they're moving in opposite directions at the same time you add one to the other so there's actually about seven thousandths of an inch run out there on those main shafts right where the main bearings run or where the shafts run in the main bearings so that's not good at all and we can see the effects of so much run out there actually probably I hope um, just see that very rough patch there this main shaft ran directly in open roller bearings uh, the Redditch engines did originally and uh, we can see the pitting and the wear that's probably been caused by the stresses on the main bearings of having to deal with so much run out it's actually worn through the hard surface the hard bearing surface of the time inside main shaft for about a third of its circumference there um, that won't be a problem when it's rebuilt because I'll be fitting a needle roller conversion to the crank case on the time inside and there'll be a tight fitting inner race pressed over that main shaft anyway so um, that wear needn't be a worry anymore to us but that is a consequence that wear is a consequence of having what is such a large amount of run out um, it'll just promote rapid wear as well as rob the engine of power so I'm hoping to not only lighten these flywheels and rebalance them but also um, when I put them back together get them running with a lot less run out than we see there so watch this space and fingers crossed it'll end up uh, much better than that